ocean of stars. Who first gazed up at it? Dreamt that it held the key to humanity's future. How vast the universe must have seemed to them. Unending and eternal, filled with infinite possibility. But if only those dreamers knew what I know now. That humankind harbors a voracious hunger. One not even the limitless cosmos can sate. Another 24 hours and we're off the clock. Gotta say, this has been one easy gig. Yes, I suppose it has. Would you care for more coffee, Ray? Sure. Don't get ahead of yourself, Ray. Uh, Captain. Seriously, something's up today. I can feel it. Your sixth sense again. I'll take your word for it. Human's intuition is a mystery to me. Hey. Danger tends to rear its ugly head when you least expect it. Maybe pirates are sneaking up on us as we speak. Oh, ha ha, laugh it up, you guys. <laughs> For real, though, you've got to relax. Look how quiet it is out there. Huh? See? This is what you get for ignoring me. Probably just some random asteroid field or something. Scanning craft. Verified. Pangalactic Federation battleship, the Astoria. As in their latest and greatest. I heard it also has a Kenny on board. What's it doing so far outside of Fed space? Uh, I think they're aiming at us. Warning. Phase cannon fired. Distance 350,000 clicks. Take evasive action. Starboard thrusters to full power. There's no time. Everyone brace for impact. Shields holding at 78%. What? Why are Patch they your doing this? Group. Tell them we're not hostile, damn it. No response. Second strike incoming. on screen. Find us a way out of here now. No good. Cannons fired at our projected course. Make it stop! Shields down to 12%. Weapons activity detected. Readying third strike. Still no response from the Astoria. It seems they have no intention of letting us go. Ray, they've ceased fire. Your orders. Abandon ship. All crew members, get to an escape pod. Wait, we must consider the cargo. Is evacuating the correct course of action? These are beds we're dealing with here. If we don't clear out now, we're goddamn space dust. This job isn't worth our lives. Captain's orders, evacuate immediately. Got a loose end to tie up. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you. I'll be fine. Come on. Open, you stupid. Power has been cut from this section of the ship. No matter how hard you try, you won't be able to open that door. Elena? The Astoria has fired on us. I'm sorry, but there's not enough time to save the cargo before impact. You have one minute. That's more than enough time. Now help! Yes, Captain. No! Hey! Stop! What do you think you're doing? Elena! Elena! The 
crew of the Edis needs you. Good luck, Ray. And goodbye. No! Computer. Number and location of all ejected pots. According to the latest records, nine of the 49 escape pots have been successfully jettisoned and are now untraceable. This ocean of stars. Who first gazed up at it? Dreamt that it held the key to humanity's future. must have seemed to them, unending and eternal, filled with infinite possibility. Setting course, fourth planet of the Aster star system, warp 2.1, estimated arrival, five days. An underdeveloped planet? I can't take this! But humanity is insatiable. It is that hunger, that bottomless greed that drives them, and they will not rest until they have claimed every last star in the sky. Escape vessel located within communication range. <gasps> That's gotta be Chloe. Open up a channel. Ray? Oh, thank goodness. Is Elena okay? It is you. Man, I'm glad to hear your voice. Elena, she... she's safe. So let's you and me worry about our own hides, huh? We're headed for an underdeveloped planet, Ray. Relax. People back home probably just got our Mayday call. They're coming. So until they get here, just think of this as an adventure, okay? Entering orbit around the fourth planet in the Aster star system. Those dreamers knew what I know now. That you can only push the universe so far before it starts to push back. Arriving on Aster 4. Planetary surface found to be sufficient for all life forms aboard craft. Initiating emergency protocol. Distress signal activated. All right. Let's hope someone picks that up. Otherwise, we are SOL. Oh, my legs are friggin' killing me. Could do with a stretch. Well, the pod's electronics seem to be working just fine. It is just for emergency escape, though, so useless now. Right. Computer, give me all known locations of Vita's crew members. Unable to locate escape crafts jettisoned from the Edis. Of course. So then where's Chloe's pod? I saw her enter orbit. The vessel's descent was interrupted by an electromagnetic cannon. The onboard computer was likely damaged in the attack. Underdeveloped my ass. Computer, get an emergency signal through to my brother, Antonio Lawrence. And be quick about it. Attempting to contact Antonio Lawrence, 
Captain of the merchant vessel, Aldous. going on, but not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Alright, let's rumble! Thanks for that. Don't know what I would have done if you... Silence. Who are you? <laughs> Sheesh. And if I tell you, you'll let me go, right? Let you go? After witnessing you exiting a foreign ship? <laughs> You're more fool than you look. Wait. Uh, you two know that's a ship? Let me guess. You're the assholes who shot us down, aren't you? Incoming. Long range subspace transmission from Antonio Lawrence. Huh? Raymond, it's me, Antonio. Can you hear me? Ray, come in! I knew you weren't alone. <clears throat> Show yourself! Huh? Who in the hell are you? This isn't Raymond Lawrence! Step into the light! Hey, asshole, harm a single hair on my brother, and your planet scorched Earth, you hear me? Raymond, where are you? How is this possible? This voice? I see no one. Uh, big ask, I know, but mind if I answer him real quick? After that, I swear, I'm all yours. Very well. Princess! If he truly had armed fighters waiting, we would be slain several times over by now. Go on. Do not keep your comrade waiting, Sir Raymond Lawrence. Oh, why, thank you, milady. And uh, as for your butler or whatever, mind telling him to back it up? How dare you! As you wish. We shall give you the space you ask in good faith. In exchange, you will tell us who you are and the nature of your talking airship. Awesome. Okay. Sounds like we got a deal. Feds don't know, can't hurt them. Antonio? It's me, Raymond. Oh, Ray! Are you okay? Yeah, define okay. Had a run-in with the Federation, and it didn't end too well for the Yidus. What the hell? Emergency landing on some planet called Aster 4. Locals are real friendly. And listening right now. Are you shitting me? Chloe's down here somewhere too, but I lost track of her pod on entry. And big question mark on the rest. Look, you've got to get here, man. We need you. Sir Raymond, Antonio. Hey, that voice. That one of Aster's friendly locals. I can guarantee Raymond's safety while he is stranded in this land, on one condition. You answer my question. Are you aligned with the Vale Empire? The who? Yeah, uh, don't even know him. Vile dissembler! Al Baird. Your comrades. Have you any idea of their whereabouts? Well, at the moment, not a clue. A girl named Chloe was riding one of these when she crashed way that away. And this ship, is it possible for anyone to pilot it? Yeah. I mean... That's kind of the point of it. That said, mine's run out of juice, so it's not going anywhere for the time being. 
So, if we provide it with more of this juice, theoretically, would we be able to pilot it? <laughs> Aren't you a curious one? Huh? <laughs> Can it be? Hey, speak of the devil. Madness. Oh, how magnificent. Computer, get me a read on that craft. Was it from the Yidis? Who's on it? Readings indicate the pod was also ejected from the Edis. No passenger signal detected. Is there a town or something in that direction? Um, not a town, no. Only the Medum ruins. Albert, you must see this. Uh, Highness. Thanks for the info. Oh, and, uh, gonna hang on to this for a while longer. Halt! Sorry, buddy, but no can do. Hold there. We will accompany you. The ruins can be a treacherous place. And two friendly locals could assist. Oh, for the love of... Ah, fair point. Thank you. You may call me Leticia. And this gentleman here is Albert. Stand down, Albert. We are here to help him. Is that clear? As you wish. Awesome. Hey, Antonio. We'll catch up later, all right? Wish us luck. Uh, roger that. Stay safe down there. Oh, you guys. I'll explain the ins and outs of all this junk once I know my crew's safe. So, we got a deal? Yes, we do. Shall we then, Raymond? Uh, uh, wait. No more full name stuff. Just Ray is good. <laughs> all right. Uh, Ray? Awesome. Okay, let's move. <laughs> 